Hey guys, it's Carl. So I'm always on the hunt to reduce my tech footprint, especially for the stuff that I travel with. And by the time you guys are watching this video, I should be in Barcelona for MWC Mobile World Congress. This is the gear that I brought in this tiny little pack. This is my uh, minimal tech travel uh, essentials. And uh, we can start off actually with the pack first. I've kind of showcased it before. It's from DB Journey. It's their like everyday carry pack. Uh, this one's actually in collaboration with uh, Marcelo, this famous uh, footballer, if any of you kind of do follow but they have plain options as well. I think it's great to kind of carry smaller pieces, but it's large enough that you can even fit uh, stuff like an iPad, stuff like a small computer, which you'll see in a second, and it has this nice little handle. The thing that I like about DB Journey, it has these little connector plates uh, on the back, so if you want, uh, if I have like, say my carry-on suitcase, which will have all of my clothes, I can kind of clip this onto my suitcase and um, it becomes one kind of useful uh, carry-on. You can see from the bag, since it's made of this like leather finish, it's easy to clean, but it kind of patinas nicely as you use it uh, more and more. And yeah, it survived a ton of uh, travels already and hopefully will continue to do so. So inside of this, it actually has multiple different compartments. So you've got one in the back. This is where I tend to keep uh, my passport. So it's like closer to my body. So this is kind of option one. I've just got my passport in this just little card holder thing. Obviously that's the most important thing to carry, but I've sadly lost this before and I didn't have an option to track it. Usually I kind of travel with air tags, which is fine for keys, but you can't fit them into slimmer wallets. That's where I've got this little guy. This is the tile card and I've just actually bought it. I'm about to set it up myself. It essentially does everything that an AirTag does in a card format. And obviously that's great to slide it into things like wallets, like my little passport holder. So in case this gets misplaced somewhere, I can always track it down. And like I said, that zips into the back of the pack. And then up front, you've got something smaller, which I usually use for my phone. And since it is MWC, I will be rocking the uh, OnePlus uh, 12. This was recently just released. So it was this along with the uh, 12R as well. And if you were wondering, I think OnePlus did a better job with the 12 are actually, I think this is the phone that uh, reminds me of what OnePlus used to be. So great price. This is $399 at US, $499 Canadian. It's got last year's internals like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is still a great chip. It was like last year's uh, like flagship chip. It's got a 120 Hertz screen, which is the same as the OnePlus 12. And I guess the key difference is on the camera. So obviously the 12 uses that collaboration with Hasselblad. We've got slightly lower specs uh, on the 12R, but if you don't care about those things, honestly save the couple hundred extra dollars. Like this is like $300 more. The 12R is probably my favorite mid-range phone uh, of the year. I think it offers some serious value. And like I said, uh, last year's flagship chip makes this no slouch. I would honestly say the performance is actually very similar. The biggest area where you'll see the biggest kind of like performance difference is within that camera. And once again, unless you've got two phones uh, side by side, I don't think uh, you'll be able to tell too much of a difference, but uh, awesome job by OnePlus, they'll be there as well. So yeah, your phone of choice would kind of go into that top compartment. And on the inside, this is where kind of all the goodies are. And from the top down cam, you can probably get a sneak peek of what's jammed into here, which is <laughs> quite a bit of tech. We'll take out the first thing, which is the computer for the trip. Since this is mostly like a mobile trip, I'll be capturing most of my content on my phone. I just have this little handheld Asus uh, ROG Ally. So I know this guy has been out for a while now, but I actually just picked it up as a bit of an upgrade for myself, uh, mostly just to catch up on like the occasional game when I'm sitting at an airport where I've got a couple hours to kill. Uh, I think this is a great like personal handheld device. Everything that uh, I've played say like on a laptop, I can pretty much play on this. I've been sadly sucked back into this uh, game called like Maple Story. I used to play like when I was like in high school as like a kid. It's like this uh, 2D MMO mushroom game, which is weirdly addicting. My character from like 15 years ago, I think I'm aging myself, somehow still exists. So I've hopped back on to him. Have been playing the game as fairly similar. There's obviously been a lot of updates over the years, but uh, I've been playing on this. It's been great since it's completely handheld, but uh, other games that I've played like uh, Fall Guys, even some FPS games have been great. And I love the form factor. It's around like two and a half ish hours when I am gaming and I still have a full PC. So I can check things uh, like my email, I can browse the net all um, in this little guy. So definitely a solid upgrade. This has been something like on my eye for the past little while. I just haven't upgraded uh, to one yet, but 
I'm happy to be taking it uh, on this trip. Obviously stuff like mobile gaming is big, but nothing beats uh, having actual tactile buttons like joysticks, like actual buttons that I can mash, like actual triggers. It just becomes so much better of a gaming experience. And um, I've got a couple layovers uh, on this trip. So that will be super handy in the airport. Kind of going on, we've got the rest of like, I guess my gear content creation wise. So I'll kind of pull it out uh, as I go. The next is my Sony. So this is like my big like camera upgrade from the end of last year. I love it because it's the Sony a7CR. It's actually the same sensor that I'm recording on with my like Sony cams one, two, and three all around me. But it's in such a small form factor that it can fit into a small bag like this. I'm rocking the Zeiss 18 mil Battis on this so I can still vlog. I can still capture content when I'm on the show floor and I can snap a couple photos uh, with this as well uh, when I need to. It's just a bit better than obviously a phone that I carry around and um, it's just nice to have a small little camera with you since I do still obviously create content uh, for a living. So that is camera off here. If you're still not sold on the a7CR, I know it's pricier, the a7C2, slightly less of a megapixel count, still a great camera. I'm just a sucker for um, the two-tone finish and a sucker for that high megapixel count. But uh, I will leave both camera recommendations below. Also inside, you've got to rock uh, some headphones. So I actually have uh, two here. So these are a pair of Beats and I've got a pair of AirPods to use, which are in one of the little slide uh, compartments up top with a mesh. These are the new-ish Beats Studios that came out last year. They're good for traveling because they have that ability to fold up. Whereas uh, my AirPods, which I think like the AirPod Maxes, those don't fold. So uh, that's nice to just kind of break down, get a bit smaller and to take calls Obviously still noise canceling. These are just AirPods Pros. These have kind of been uh, with me for a while as well. I'm still rocking the lightning ones cause uh, I haven't needed to upgrade to the USB-C options. Maybe the only downside of that, you need to carry around that extra lightning cable, but um, you kind of pick your poison. I think if you already own the gen ones, you don't really need to upgrade to uh, the gen twos. Speaking of charging, I've once again, kind of compacted everything into just one kind of power brick, one charging brick. So this is the Nomad 130 watt charger. It's obviously great because it has the juice to charge something like my ROG Ally, like my camera, like my smartphone, like, uh, you know, my headphones, as it has three different ports. So if you do have something lightning, obviously you can carry around that third cable, but I just have the two USB-C cables, one long enough that, um, I think this is like an old MacBook cable. When I have this plugged in into my bed uh, beside, um, in a hotel, I can still play on my ROG Ally if uh, it does need to juice up. And I don't need to worry about having a smaller or a shorter cable, I should say. So that kind of rolls up into this uh, one little thing. I'll just kind of wrap this up. And obviously since I am going to Europe, I just need an adapter. I sniped this actually from the Air Canada lounge in Frankfurt a couple years ago. So thank you Air Canada for that. And last but not least within the rest of the mesh, I just have a couple extra accessories. So just extra storage stuff. So I've just got a couple of spare SD cards as well as this uh, Lexar SSD. It's their new one. This is the SL600. So this is great to obviously if I'm capturing content, I can kind of put everything from my camera, even say from my smartphone, from my OnePlus, I can plug it right into this and store all of that content as a bit of a backup as I am going without a laptop. So um, I know it's minimal. Everything surprisingly fits into this uh, one pack. Um, hopefully you guys found some useful tips. If there's anything that I'm missing, make sure uh, to list that down below. Obviously the most important thing when you travel, your passport obviously, just uh, don't forget that. And I am happy that I now have this little tile uh, card tracker to kind of manage all of uh, my stuff and hopefully not uh, lose track of this. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a bit more minimal. I featured less tech, but I guess that's the point of it. So I will leave everything listed in the description. I've got a ton of content for MWC coming up, so make sure you're subbed. New devices, uh, which I can't share yet, which I'll pick up in Barcelona, and I'll catch the rest of you up uh, in one of my next vids. Peace.